You got any more of those pips, Jay Wayne? We trying to get paid. It, it, it's Take Profit Tuesday. Tick, 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 take profits on the move. The movement is real. Yeah. 50 pips a day. Watch the money drip. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Jay Wayne, you know, representing Team Take Profits, and welcome to Take Profit Tuesday, where my mission is to help you become a profitable trader so you can get your time freedom back and start empowering people that's around you. And without further ado, I just wanna take you right in. We did, I made about 8K on GBP all on a buy setup, and as we were looking at this thing, my man Joe Genta, check his YouTube channel out. I'm gonna put it up here in the link up here and it's in the description below, all right? With my team and his team, we all combined in together and he did a quick session breaking down GA. So I just wanna let you check this out real quick. Super powerful, super informative. Check it out real quick, guys. Um, first of all, uh, you know, those of you who are on Jay's group, um, you know, appreciate you welcoming me to the group. We're, we're, we're uh, excited about the working together and and my group is in here and Jay's group is in here and first things first I believe that when you're looking at the market you can't just look at what's right in front of you right you, you can't just say you can't just take a look at this right here and say um, you know hey we got we got us a wedge pattern and and you know we had a nice little move up or it's you know if I look at this right here just in and of itself all I'm seeing is I'm seeing some bearish movement, right? So I got to look at more than that. I can't, I can't just say this is some bearish movement and I trade based on that, uh, especially when you're swing trading. I got to look at the overall picture of what's happening here. And so what I personally do is I go out to the weekly chart and I've showed my team this every, every single um, class for probably the last months and months and months. But when you zoom out, this is what's really going on in the market right now. You have this upward swinging channel that has been moving, and I'm gonna actually get rid of this text. Um, but you have this upward, you see this little, them little green arrows that I showed you guys? That's nothing. That's like this tiny little piece of the market that's going on. What's really happening is we've had an upward swinging channel for over three years now. In 2016, in October, we hit a low and we've been steadily climbing ever since. And that's been over three years now. Um, and so right now, no matter what little bit of bearish movement we're seeing in the market right now, this is a bullish trend that we are in on GA. Um, and we've been in that way. And this is the weekly chart. So this is big, big moves here. This is like a long time. For three years, we've been climbing up this channel. And if we're going to know what's happening on the smaller time frame, then we need to know what's happening on the larger time frame because nothing happens on the smaller time frames that isn't being affected overall by the larger time frame. Right now, price is trying to decide, do I come back into the zone and fight with my trend line or do I, or do I reject this zone where there's convergence with the current trend line and push back up to the top? Price is trying to decide which one it does and it's always going to take the path of least resistance, right? And so now that we understand what's going on in a weekly chart, what we do is we don't trade the weekly. We use that understanding of what's going on as we zoom out to bring it back to what we're doing here. On a weekly chart, we saw one big red candle that came back down here. But when we bring that down at a four hour, we understand that there's a lot of movement that goes on in there and there was a lot of bank manipulation. So then it came here it pushed back up causing my first, uh, my lower low essentially, my lower high I mean, and then essentially causing my flag right here. So I, once I get my second confirmation, I get my high, my lower high, I can drop my trend line. So you, it's one, two, go on through, okay? So when you see price enter into that 192,850 area, wait for the pullback in that from there, and then you're going to enter off the top of the trend line. Okay. Now, hey, literally, Joe. all we had to do was let the bears show their hand. 
the, the Bulls pushed it up, the Bears pushed it back, and then that told us how much strength was left in the market. And so because of that, that tells us we have 30 pips from, correct, from, the, real, from the real move, and we're going to end up pushing up to the 192.850. We're going to pull back, and then depending on that pullback, that is where we're going to see what really happens. Where would the TP be on the bullish move off the retest? Your TP is going to be at your next level. Always look left, right? I'm sure you guys have learned that. So if we break out here, we're going to have a take profit one, take profit two, take profit three, right? And so if we look at that, uh, if, we look at, if we look at it in that manner, if we come off of the retest and we go take profit one, 70, take profit two, 125, take profit three, 167. And of course, after that, there's nothing in the way all the way up until this structure here, which is at 230. So at that point, you should be having partial positions closed and you should just be riding a trailing stop loss. All right, team. So you see how he broke that thing down. Now, I chopped it up. I didn't give you everything. If you want to see everything, then go over to his channel. Watch that full video. I mean, he literally, literally broke that thing all the way down from the weekly to the entry time frame. I mean, mind blowing. You, you know what I'm saying? You saw a piece of it right there. But um, so check the full video out on his channel. But I just wanted to bring that video into my vi to this video here so it can all kind of make sense how we trade as a team and, you know, make money as a team. So um, now I'm about to walk you through my process, my personal process of how I enter this trade. Stay tuned. Check these clips out. All right. So this is a four hour chart. And all I saw just to keep it very, very simple is this wedge pattern forming this is an uptrend and I'm just connecting the dots together and we're literally trying to break out of this wedge pattern all right now on a lower time frame I got in here like on like a two hour chart because this is a swing trade and I usually don't swing trade but this is one and I saw an entry on like the two hour chart all right but um this is the pattern i see here all right and then you simply mark up your zones like that i'm gonna put it right up in here boom so then i go mark that up and then uh, simply go to the top. And this is the overall move that I'm looking for. All right. So now you can scalp it. You can day trade it, whatever you need to do. But I always say go to the higher time frames so you can know what's going on. So now I got my wedge pattern together. I got my um you know my zones together so now like i'm ready now it's just all about patience it's all about you know waiting now and now how i use the 50 moving average when price breaks above it now this is the four hour chart on a lower chart i believe that price has already broke the 50 moving average but on a four hour chart to really hold this swing i'm gonna want to i'm gonna want to see price break above the uh the the red line which is my 50 simple moving average i mean you can back test it when price finally broke it and retest it on top of it boom we was in a buyer's market that's what same thing i'm waiting for here now i'm using my stochastic as well <clears throat> now on a four hour chart the stochastic is overbought but by the time it breaks the zone you just need to know that that's what's that's what's going to happen it's going to be you know overbought so it's going to be like a pullback and that's probably going to be your your retest around the 50 or the zone here you know as the martin stochastic go down but i'm not worrying about that to me price action is king you got to know what time frames to use what indicator if you're going to use them all right i say there's nothing wrong with using them you just know you need to know how to use them and when to use them all right, because not every trade you're going to need a, a indicator. 
but they can give you an edge if you know how to use them and when to use them all right so i slapped on the martin trendline color change and all you do is back test it or whatever and you can see how powerful it is but when it turns green boom i got in when i saw it turning green now i, I this is more of an aggressive uh i won't lie to you this was more of an aggressive entry because it's not closed yet but i went to the two hour chart and saw this big long rejection candle kind of at the bottom of the zone you can see it down here at the bottom of the zone here so i was like you know what i'm about to pull the trigger on this and 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 just follow it and monitor it but the real confirmation that i'm looking for like 100 pips on is breaking this closing outside of this wedge we're out of there all right we're, all right we're out of there and definitely when it when it breaks above this zone that's the that's the stronger move there uh, but it's going to take a while but just from breaking out of the wedge if it does and head up here that's already 50 60 pips right there and i feel like me sitting on an hour two hour chart you know just 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 holding the trade and and monitoring it you know from you know every hour that's 50 pips that's that's beautiful at a at a 200 dollar lot size that's beautiful but I'm I'm trying to go for the 100 pip move or more. So I'm just trying to record it live, guys. Keep you updated. It's 544 in the morning. Um, feeding the twins, man. We grinding, man, but nonstop. So, so as this trade continues to develop, um, I will keep you updated. All right, so stay tuned. All right, here we go, guys. Price just broke the wedge. And as you can see, I'm using the Martin trend line candles and it is lit up green and it broke it so this is my update this is my entry we up about six thousand five hundred dollars price is approaching the zone i call it easy money guys i am up 60 50 pips in the and since i want to say i jumped in this trip since about two hours two or three hours so we up 60 pips, easy money, broke the wedge. Uh, stochastic is curling up on the one hour. Let's check the two hour. So everything is looking good. It's lit up green for an uptrend, broke the wedge. And I like on a two hour chart, we are above the 50 moving average and it's lit up green. So everything is looking good so far, 7, 12 a.m. I'm about to head out and take my son to school. Um, I'm thinking about moving up a stop loss. Well, not yet. At least you want to cover the break even. So I'm, I want to, I want to put my stop loss on a two-hour chart. I want to put it at the body. So I'm going to move my stop loss up to here, right at the body where it started. So. We up $6,500, uh, about 60 pips. So <clears throat> we're going to keep monitoring it. And, um, you know, I keep you updated. But this is definitely a winning trade. And I don't see any reason really to give back any much profit, you know, that many profits back. You know, trying to go for the home run. You know, I built my count up to a hundred thousand over a hundred thousand by waiting for trade setups and taking profits so um, everything is smooth but I'm glad I was able to record this live for you guys I know you guys been wanting a live a live um, video and here it is this is the the most live as I can get for you <laughs> so I keep you updated team so if you go to the 30 minute chart you can see price made an engulfing candle pull back retested on a 50 moving average i have multiple time frames showing me this plus the martin trend line color change it broke a trend line you see it's solid green it's powerful it shows you that momentum is is on your side so i got multiple time frames closing above the 50 moving average and retesting one hour chart same thing big 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 red candle Martin trend line boom and four hour and we're right at the four hour now 
So we're looking at, you know, a big, big move, but we break the wedge. So, you know, powerful here. You can either take profit or you can move up your stop loss and hold. And ultimately, we're looking for something like this break up here. You know, a break, you know, some type of retest and a shoot up now if that happens it's game over you know trend back into the uptrend and we're out of there so this is the beginning process we we'll keep you updated all right guys so fast forward i believe like over the weekend today is now monday night and um those previous clips that you watched were um like last thursday all right so today is actually the 17th now and I just want to, you know, wrap this video up. You know, I've been very busy, but basically, you know, it broke through the zone as planned, as you can see in those previous clips, and it retested for all our retest traders. Boom, came right back on top of the zone. Isn't that amazing? The zone, it has not moved. These numbers are still the same. I didn't touch anything, all right? So it came back down, and boom, retest traders could have caught the bounce right up here. Caught it for another... 92 pips all right so another 92 pips and i mean just 100 pips just flowing through here all right so um i caught i i, I got like eight thousand, as you can see on the screen here uh, my total profit was around 8k and i just wanted to sh kind of show you you know the process because a lot of people saying oh that was replay it's hard for a youtuber to basically you know, when, when I have a lot of things to do in my day, to basically just sit here at the chart and just record the whole thing. I gotta, I kind of have to take you through what happened. You feel me? And so um, I, I don't always have my computer, I mean, my, my camera right on me, right on my side at all times. So um, so as you can see, you know, it broke through the zone and, and we're holding above this zone right here. It broke the wedge. You know what I'm saying? So trend line game, get your trend line game right. I made a video on how to master the trend line. Go check it out. And we just closed above. Now, I chickened out. I basically just took profit. I did not catch all of this. How many pips is this? From my entry point all the way up here was 149 pips. I didn't, I didn't obviously you can see on my, my trade, I didn't hold it that long. So I kind of got about 8,000 of it, and I was pretty happy with that. So um, I just had too many things going on that day. I was like, you know, realistically, I'm not going to be able to focus on this. So I'm just going to close the trade out. I'm happy with the profits. You feel me? So that's what I did. So I, I basically took profit. Let me change this stop loss to take profit. Boom. And I basically took profit. I believe I took profit somewhere in here. But yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. So I mean, I'm I'm super excited, super happy and accomplished about the trade that I took. And you know, we trade as a team. You feel me? We trade as a team. Brought Joe in, check his channel out. And he's our swing trader. So I'm our day trader. And we got scalpers on the team. And he's our swing trader. So we all kind of just focus on our niche and we bring it in together. So you know, we can I can get our entries precise on his swing trade. You know what I'm saying? Using my day trade methods. So we just creating a juggernaut, y'all. We we hey, if you want mentorship, you see it right here on the screen. I mean, we about to just smash it, man. We we really we really been killing it, and we do this as a team. So now, if you were, let me make this stop uh, take profit back to stop loss. If you were to trail it. I mean, you would have you would have moved it as it made this pivot. You would have moved the stop loss right under this pivot area. All right. And as it was pulling back and bounced up, you would have moved it back under here. All right. So then as the trade is starting to take off now, you would basically move it up to about right here. Some yeah, about right here if you want to lock in those profits, because it might pull back somewhere up in here. You know, let me draw an arrow for you. It, you know, it might it might pull back somewhere right up in this area here. It, it could very well come down here, honestly, but. I would you don't you don't want to give too many profits away. So it might come down there and then, you know, come back up again. But here here's the thing. This is what I want to show you though. What I really want to show you is this. Look where price is going. 
I want you to, what did I teach you on my golden zone video? Check this out. Go from this top to this bottom and price is re about to come up and retest this golden zone. Powerful stuff, y'all. And if y'all y'all seen my golden zone video, the Fibonacci in the golden zone, boom, there we go. It's about to come in there and test that. And then we're going to find another trade opportunity based on whatever happens in here. So watch that video. Um, it's, it's on my channel. It's not too far down. Check that channel. I'll scroll through and see. But you can see it's, it's live right now. Like this candles is moving right now live. And um, and it's going to push in there. And you're going to get a reaction. So I'm super excited about the team. We making moves. We doing this together. I got this pretty much all figured out. The way I trade. And the way I help the team. So it's pretty much. So, uh, so it's pretty much streamlined. And this is the easiest it's going to get. You know what I mean? We don't sugarcoat. There's no magic tricks. We simply, it's just hard work and, and dedication. All right? And most of all, you know, discipline. So um, this is how we doing it, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, like if you got some value and understanding from this video, then give this video a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Share this video with about two friends. Subscribe if you haven't. But I got a question for you guys. You know, what big moves did you catch this week or, or last week? Re well, recently, right? What big moves did you catch? Did you catch GA? Comment below. Let me know if you caught it. I'm very interested in knowing how the, how the family, how the family is doing. You guys are not just subscribers. You guys are family. I want to know how you're doing in the market, if you're struggling, because I want to make my videos catered around you guys, around what you guys need to learn currently right now. I don't want to just put a whole bunch of worthless content out. I really want to help you at the stage that you're at right now. So comment below. Let me know what moves did you catch. And if you didn't, you know, if you missed it, let me know why. You feel me? Comment below below all right guys so if you enjoyed this live trade video you know kind of like showing you my process as the trade develop then you know click the video right over here the uh, 50 pips on GBP all I did that live YouTube live I caught that YouTube live you're gonna enjoy it don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and let's make this money baby peace